Okay, happy pug. Yeah, see, oh that's okay. way better. Okay, it's getting better. Today we're going to be talking about the generative AI features that are in Express. Checking out the new Adobe Express beta. Go over to adobe.com slash express and you'll be able to try it out from there. Here on the homepage, this is kind of like the first area where you will see the text to image and text effects generation. You can see some of the images that are featured here and prompts um, that have been generated using Adobe Firefly. If you look over to the side here, there's a little tiny text box that you can actually type a prompt into. And if you need inspiration, yeah. all the keywords and the prompts are already already on all those mm -hmm, images. On hover, yes. This part of like showing the inspiration and showing like what exact keywords folks have used is really, really helpful for me to see how to get the best results I can possibly get. Let's start off with something like pug wearing a bow tie sitting next to a cake. Oh my gosh, and then... <laughs> If you look to the side here, you can adjust your prompt in the text box. You can change the content type. You can set it to photo, graphic, or art. You can change the style here. It's all categorized, so you see six right now, but if you click on these different subcategories, you'll see a lot more options. When you scroll down, you'll see the different results that you can look through. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. If you want to see more results, just hit load more and then it'll generate four more images. So another way you can use text to image and text effects is in a project. You start from a template. One thing that's pretty different in the beta of Adobe Express is when you use the search bar at the top, mm. but when you put in a keyword or key phrase up here, it actually pulls up more than that. So it pulls up the templates, photos, yep. videos, backgrounds, and design assets related to that keyword. Let's go with this one. When we just click into these tabs, we have the search bar up here where you can search through different assets. We have this thing called Your Stuff. It includes your project files, but also your brands and libraries. Next tab is Templates, which has the template library. Then we have Media, so this holds all of the stock assets. It's not only just photos anymore on this tab. You have photos, stock videos, and also stock audio. And then so moving down, we have the text tab. So of course you can add your text. It'll pop up a new like text block, and then you also have text effects here that you can explore. And then we have elements, which is all the design elements. And again, if you look up at the top here, there's design assets, backgrounds, shapes, and icons. So literally everything that used to have its own tab yeah. is now just together. The layers panel is now on the right hand side, the upper right. Working with images, if you want to replace an image in a template, normally you would click on a photo, right? And then hit replace, which by the way, it's now up here. If you want to replace image with text to image, but you'll have to do it manually. So just go into media, uh, photos, and then you'll see this button that says text to image. You have to pick the dimension that you want, and you can do it in square, landscape, portrait, or widescreen. Do you portrait because it is the closest orientation to this. Pug wearing graduation <laughs> commencement. Yes. And now we wait. He oh, looks so sad. I know. Maybe we like, need to put just... like happy pug. Okay, happy pug. Yeah, oh see, that's okay. way better. Okay, it's getting better. Oh my gosh. Oh, adorable. Wait, this one's <gasps> adorable. That one's so cute. The generative AI tools explore the text effects. Select the text box. And if you scroll down, you'll see text effects right here. Open that up and then it pulls up the text box for you to put in a prompt, how tight or loose you want the effect to stick to the letter. And there's also sample effects. There are a bunch of different looks to try out. So there's like textures, arts and crafts. And my favorite is the flowers. The flowers one is really nice. Let's do the flowers. So this is the tropical flowers effect and it just it just looks so nice yeah it's, so it's great clean. we can do balloons Look, oh that's so really cool good. Yeah, that's great. You can actually stack different text effects on top of this. We can add a glow, add the halo, stronger drop shadow, or anything like that. <laughs> but, or you can do a custom effect too. You so you can crop them, and they have these preset shapes like that. Some of the shapes have more of a freeform kind of crop thing. Back to text to image, we'll do a portrait. What kind of background do we want? The rainbow, gradient, gold. <laughs> Let's just do like pastel gradient with gold confetti. So once you have the image here, click on it again, it'll open up this menu. We can just set it as the page background and boom, boom new background. Love cool. it. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye.